Let's see what a three oh. I'm a proud American. Rule number one, just do what you say. Let's make this simple and clear. If you said you were leaving when Donald took over, then why in the hell are you here? If you do this one thing, you never gonna be a simp ever, like in life, ever, 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 ever. Hey, so Brown, bro, hit me up on Instagram. Hey, bro. So TikTok, I let this girl shit. I can't stop thinking about her. I'm turning to a simp, low key, man. Listen, it's nothing wrong with loving a female. Uh, Whatever you want to call them. Listen, it's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, the reason why you turn into a simp is because your mindset. Listen, a female is a, a is not an addition. It's an addition to your life, not a subtraction. If you treat this is a thing about like a mad equation. If before you had her, you was hooping every day, you was hanging with your friends, you was going to parties, you was breaking out, you was you was on your shit. You added to the equation. Now you not on your shit. That's why you turn into a simp. You revolving your equation over her. She's an addition. You treat her like a subtraction. Of course you're going to start simping over this whole. And she's going to stop with you for real because you making your whole life about her. Let the free. the f*** I asthma. You feel me? But look, if you made this for in the video, comment the demon emoji. I'm out, man. You can't be mad. That's not your girl. I can't be mad. That's not my girl. I can't be mad. Hey, dude is absolutely right. Let me tell you the games that women purposely play with chat. A woman posting on her story and not texting you back could be one of two things. It's either one, a shit test, or two, she's just not that into you. So let's just get this out of the way. If it's... Oh, 304 is a... Oh, I got you. Spelled backwards is an upside down. Like a, like if you get a page, it's 304. Okay. Wow. The disrespect, man. The disrespect. Because she's not interested in you, just keep it pushing. Stop trying to pursue her. Let her rock. But if it's a test what you're not gonna do is fall for that test so at this point if you already know that the girl likes you she has interest in you and she's testing you it's because she wants to see what you would do so for example if she's not texting you back when she's posting on her story she wants to see if you're gonna text her or double text her to see why she's not texting you back and if you do this you fail the test and now she's gonna be like oh okay this guy's doing too much already so to pass the test is to literally just not text her wait for her to text you even if it takes a week, just wait for her to text you. And if she doesn't, keep it pushing. But as a man, you must attract, not chase. You never want to chase woman. What you need to do is build yourself to a high enough level to where you attract the woman that you want. And if you notice that you're not attracting that woman that you personally want, that simply means you haven't reached that level to where you actually deserve them yet. Women love the best guy that they can get and the best guy who loves them. And the moment that that guy isn't the best guy, women generally fall out of love with him. Why do dudes give this type of advice on the internet? Why do, why do, why do they have such a huge platform where they can give this type of advice on the internet? I don't get it. Like, is it really that many young men out there who are just like, oh, I don't understand why this girl won't call me back. And none of these guys, in my opinion, know what the hell they're talking about, man. How many of these dudes actually have a track record of being able to get the woman of their dream and starting a, uh, an actual family? I ain't talking about being able to just have sex with a whole bunch of women. That's, that's, that's juvenile. I'm talking about being able to get a woman and create a life with that woman. And then give advice once you've started something and you've started, you've um, grown with that lady. And then years have passed and y'all have had children and y'all have faced um, certain adversities. And she is still that woman that's winning on your team. I would like to see them give out some advice because these guys are only teaching young men how to get a girl real quick, have sex. That's it. How to ignore. You, you need to, if you want a girl's attention, you got to ignore. You can't call her back. You can't text her. See, women be playing, women be playing games. Who wants to learn that? Everybody, yeah, everybody wants to copy Kevin Samuels. They're not in a position to copy Kevin. And even Kevin Samuels, God rest his soul. God rest his soul. As much wisdom as he had, even he was not successful with the women. He wasn't successful with the women. He was successful in life, but he wasn't successful with women. So I don't get it. 
I really don't get it. Why do they allow these senseis to teach them about life and these guys have not gotten any black belts on life? Talk to somebody who actually has a wife, who actually has a woman in their life and children in their lives that they've raised to be um, um, great additions to society. Like, this is how you find a woman who can become your wife, who can bear your children and then help you um, raise that child to graduate from high school and then graduate from college and then um, and then get married herself. Can you walk me through that? If you can't walk me through that, then I don't want your dang on advice. For a woman, it's just on and off. She loves you when you're like the best guy and everything, when she's really into you. And the moment that you aren't together, the moment that like she can do better than you, like you up you slipped up you got fat you got emotional and everything then it's off and it's like it's almost impossible to switch it back on for her because it's already switched on for some other guy that she's now into whoa you thought i bet you you were expecting to see her uh, actually goes to gym to deal with heartbreak it's literally just like a tiktok trend real men go to gym to bang mommies stop complaining about women on tiktok and go get some don't be a sad, be a sick. Let's keep gym talk a happy, non-cringe, non-depressing place. Realize now, happiness comes from drugs, not relationships. Peace out. Happiness comes from drugs, <laughs> not relationships. Wow. Like, did it pay for this whole ride? No, yeah, the whole thing. You sell bath water, toenails, <laughs> hair. Bath water? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I need to talk to some of y'all's parents because, like, who raised y'all? <laughs> like, what satisfaction do you get by buying bath water? Like, y'all have some crazy imaginations, yo. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. These women are making, are becoming six-figure women because there are such idiots out there who are willing to pay for a vial of their bath water. If someone is willing to pay for a cup of your bath water they will kill you they will axe murder you they will stalk you and they will try to they go and kidnap you and you out there <laughs> i'm selling i'm selling instead of trying to teach dudes to stop buying people water you need to teach these young ladies to respect themselves enough and to understand that the people who are now your customers are just waiting for the right time to just throw your little tail in the trunk. That's what they're doing. They're waiting for the right time to throw you into a trunk. That's what they're doing. Raise up these young ladies to respect themselves a little bit more. How about that? These men, these dudes that's in their basements that don't know how to daggone function around women, that got to pay for every piece that they get or what they see, I'm paying for your daggone bath water. I'm paying for you to clip your toenails. Ooh, I like the way you clip your toenails. Ding, ding. I just now dropped $20. I just now dropped another $20. Please clip your baby toe. Please clip your baby toe. Oh, this is the easiest test ever. There is so many ways you can respond to this. A good one would be, oh my God, that was you looking in my room the other day while I was changing. Really? Right, they're probably buying them daggone bath water with their parents' money. Really? Or you can say, Oh, wow, somebody has some cool psychic powers. How do you know that? Or you can say, oh, small is an understatement. I wish. Or you can say, oh, you have no idea. Basically, any test, all you want to do is agree and amplify and be sarcastic, be funny. But you actually have to not care. You can't just act like you don't care. You should be securing yourself enough to not need her validation and have a good time regardless. You should be secure enough in yourself to not need my advice. And I haven't, and I have not achieved anything in life yet. All, I, all I'm able to do is get some girls here and there and talk on a damn camera. I haven't done anything with my damn life yet. But please listen to me because I'm the guy to listen to. I'm cool to you. And they probably listen to, oh man, I'm, I'm following this. These daggone dudes out there with daddy issues. They ain't got no daddy. Or mommy issues. The mom is too daggone mean to him. And now they trying to find a woman just like their mother. But if she's just being a don't even hang out with her. Easy way to pump up that self-esteem so you actually don't care. Every single night, write down three things that you liked about yourself that day. Then every morning, read over that list. It works. Stay strong. Stop simping.
Don't write three things that you like about yourself. What the hell? What type of people are walking around these, this earth where they need to write down three things they like about themselves every day? <sighs> I like the way I brushed my teeth today. I was, I was kind of strong. I saw a muscle in my, in my forearm when I was brushing my teeth. That was nice. Uh, I like the way I buttered my toast today. I was, I was real smooth with the way I spread the butter and the jelly. What else? I like the way that I drove today. Yeah. Yeah, I drove and I was and I was and I was in the lines and I was faster than everybody. I was always the first one at the light. What type of mess is that, man? What type of dudes are out here with such low self-esteem, bro? Like, come on now. Is this really a thing? I'm sorry to be so naive and so um probably insensitive to people that have this level of so um um, low self-esteem but i will tell you this if your self if your self-esteem is this dang on low internet therapy is not what you need at all you don't need internet therapy you need an actual therapist you need an actual counselor someone who's trained in this someone who went to school for this you don't need nobody who's just cutting on their damn um, ring light in their phone and just giving you advice who the hell are you what credentials do you have how to kill the simp you cannot be emotionally available. Boys, you guys are falling for girls way too quickly. And this makes you come across way too strong, way too early, because you develop feelings when she hasn't even started. And when you start getting emotionally invested, you start acting like a little girl. You Bruh, you literally have lights in the corner of your ceiling. And you're telling them that they're acting like little girls. Now, I'm, I'm sorry for attacking the messengers. But these messengers are giving people advice and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're giving you advice from the room of a house that they don't even pay for. They don't pay. They're not paying for. They're not paying any rent. They're not paying a mortgage. They just have a room that their parents pay for. Or they're in college giving people advice. I need to start giving people advice. That's what I'm going to start doing. You start God getting insecure. You're wondering where she's going. You're wondering what she's doing. You start thinking about it all day when you should be thinking about yourself and what the hell you are doing. You boys seriously need to fix your f priorities. Your is that the same guy? <laughs> or is that a different guy with more ring lights? Hold on a second. Hold on. Is that his, is that his friend or something? Is that the same? That's not the same guy. But it's another guy with more dang on lights on his ceiling. <laughs> Is that his oldest brother or something? Hey, bro, come give them some, come kick some game to these, uh, these clowns. Come kick some game to these fools. Let me tag you in, bro. Get in here. <laughs> hey, bro, get in here and give some game to these fools. They need us. We about to save the world. <laughs> <laughs> so worried that this girl hasn't responded, etc. You're so worried about your girlfriend, and you are not even worried in the slightest about yourself, about your future, about your purpose, who you want to be, and where you want to be in your life. That will give you the long term fulfillment. That will stop you being from a simp. You need to rely on yourself, bettering yourself, getting in your purpose, getting in your grind, not worrying if she doesn't text you back or all these crazy problems that are so relevant and will not get you where you want. I will say that was some good advice, though. That was some good advice. I'm going to say that much. I'm, I'm making fun of the guy because of who he is and giving out the dag on uh, the, the dude with the good hair. You know what I mean? He's giving advice and everything, but that was good advice. Prioritize yourself. You know what I mean? Stop concerning yourself with girls out there. Take care of yourself, all right? When you find that young lady, you'll know. When you find that right one, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I don't understand young humor anymore. Um, I don't get it. Like, are people really looking at this and sharing this and blowing this up so it could be trending enough so that someone could put this on? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. This is is this entertaining? It probably is. If it is, I don't I don't see it. Please tell me what it is so I can start incorporating it into my way of doing things because clearly I do things like an old ass man and it's not working well it is kind of working
From the bad to the good and everything in between. You yourself are sufficient for your own.